Hello everyone, myself Dr. Pradeep Kumar MR, working as assistant professor in the Department of Pharmaceutical Chemistry of Kelly College of Pharmacy, Hubli. Today, I will be giving you the demonstration with respect to determination of reducing sugar by DNSA reagent method. DNSA is nothing but dinitrosalicylic acid method. So, in this particular uh, method, we are going to determine how much concentration of the reducing sugar is present in the given sample. So, this particular uh, reaction involves the following principle. As you could see here, reaction this is a 3 5 dinitrosalicylic acid which in the presence of reducing sugar and alkaline medium like copper sulfate, it undergoes a reaction whereby it will give you a compound where the third position undergoes the reduction to amine group. That is nitro group, whatever was there, it gets reduced to amine functionality. So, there is a formation of 3 amino. 5 nitro salicylic acid. So, this particular method, so when the sample is taken which is containing a reducing sugar in that, to that when the DNSA reagent is added and the reaction is carried out in an alkaline medium, so there occurs the reduction, as I said the reduction of the third position nitro group takes place which results in the formation of an amine functional group at that place. So, during this conversion of 3 5 dinitro salicylic acid into 3 amino 5 nitro salicylic acid, there is a development of a color that is deep red color is produced. So, this deep red color, the intensity of this deep red color is depending on the concentration of the reducing sugar present means if more amount of reducing sugar present in the sample automatically there will be a more intense color. So, if it is less less, but in order to identify. So, we are making use of colorimeter instrument. So, this colorimeter instrument when we measure the intensity of the color produced using the colorimeter at 600, 600 nanometer. So, it helps us to get to know the concentration. So, for this sake we are uh, that is a colorimetrically estimating the sample against the blank and meanwhile we also prepare the standard solution of different concentration that is different known concentrations we will be preparing and that one will be plotting in the form of a graph. Then the reading what we are getting by taking the sample reading at the same 600 nanometer will be plotted in that graph and by interpolation we can get to know that what is the exact concentration of the sh reducing sugar in the given sample. So, this is the principle involved and the reaction involved. Now, I will call upon my students who will give the demonstration with respect to the practical aspect of reducing sugar estimation by DNSA reagent method. NUH standard glucose solution under concentration of sample distilled water and DNSA reagent. In test tube 1 did not add any standard glucose solution and transfer 0.5 ml of glucose solution in test tube 2. Then add 1.5 ml of glucose solution in test tube 4. Then add 2 ml of solution in test tube 5 and 2.5 ml of solution in test tube number 6. Thank you. 
3 ml of sodium hydroxide solution to each of the test tubes, including the sample. Add sufficient amount of distilled water in each test tube to make up the volume to 10 ml. In test tube 1, the content itself is of 6 ml, so I add 4 ml of distilled water to make up the volume to 10 ml. the test tubes in boiling water bath for 10 minutes after boiling allow to cool and keep aside for some minutes read the optical density of standard sample at 600 nanometer against blank optical density of test tube 2 is found out to be 9 Optical density of test tube 3 is found out to be 13. Optical density of test tube 4 is found out to be 17. The optical density of test tube 5 is found out to be 18. The optical density of test tube 6 is found out to be 20. The optical density of the given unknown concentration of sample is found out to be 23.